King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I pop. King Carter, King Carter. Yo, what's going on, Team IKC? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I would like to welcome you guys to the semifinals in the West Coast NBA playoffs. We're going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves this round. It's this is two unlikely teams to make actually make it to the playoffs, but we're gonna make a turn up for y'all, man. <laughs> it's about to go down. But uh, on a quick sidebar, um, I just want to thank everybody for showing me support while I was on vacation in Miami. Um, me and my boy Wazen now, we had a whole lot of fun. We had the homie Will out there. Man, we was just running around Miami just doing whatever, man. It was crazy. You know, we ain't getting no sleep. It, it, it was OD. Chicks everywhere. Oh, my God. You know what? I ain't even going to talk about it, man. I'll probably make a different video for that. If y'all want to see a video of me just talking about, you know, my experience in Miami with the homies, uh, drop a comment below, you know. Tell me tell me that you want to see that. But um, let's talk about this playoff game. Now... To recap on their team, they have an overpowered team. They got Ricky Rubio at the point. They got Mo Will, I think, coming. I think he starts at the two. Not totally sure, but they do have Budinger, who's a great three-point shooter. And they have Kevin Love, that's a great three-point shooter. So, at any given time, they can probably go on like a crazy scoring tear. So, you know, I just got to make sure I play slow, play my own way. I'm playing on Hall of Fame, so, whew. I hope they don't turn up on me. I hope I hope I hope things go good. But you know, I like um getting a nice little cutscenes and intros, man. So let's jump into this game. Alright, on the first possession of the game, we do get the tip. I pass it off to Anthony Davis because it seems like the team has all their interests focused on me. So you know I'm gonna just try to get a couple assists early. Now I don't know why Eric Gordon's shot is so terrible, but Eric Gordon is gonna play great defense here and get the steal. And we're back out on the break, so you know they pass it over to the captain. He shoots the three. You know it's cash. Come on, y'all. It's too easy, man. You can't leave me open like that on the break. But check it out. It's 8-5, right? Now, the funny thing is, Kevin Love, one of the probably the most terrifying people on this team, actually gets injured here, guys. Yes, look at the bench standing up. Kevin Love is out. He's out for the game. Oh my God. Now, when I first seen him get injured, it did kind of catch me by surprise. And later in the game, they did say that he will be out for the entire series. So guess what? Not only do I, all I have to beat is the Minnesota Timberwolves on Hall of Fame without Kevin Love. But I also don't have to worry about my power forward, power forward getting torched at the four spot like i'm totally good now i think i'm gonna end up sweep, sweeping minnesota you know because i'm um, sweeping the clippers it was actually hard too but this is even easier man but check me out getting the cookies out on the break and oh my goodness did i just 360 that did i put that thing in a spin cycle i don't know i don't know but uh the, it ain't over man rubio this is a game versus rubio man and i'm gonna tell you right now he's very witty when it comes to dribbling the ball, like, I'm thinking all I got to do is press L2 and, you know, intense defense. But, yo, some of his dribble moves are just out of line. But check out the nice alley-oop, man. Yo, sometimes I pray to God I was on a team where guys actually catch it and throw it down. But did anybody see that that's, that uh, foul right there? Did anybody notice the ball was actually exposed? My hand actually touched the ball, but I still got the foul. I'm going to need y'all to run that back. But it's 27 to 35 with five, almost five and a half left in the second quarter. And Buttinger, I don't know what he's trying to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab those cookies real quick. And I'm going to throw it up to the homie Tyreek. Now, the funny thing is about Tyreek Evans, I wish I would show this at the end of the video. But check it. My man only had like three points. So he only he got his first bucket in the second quarter. And I think he got a free throw off for three points. But they gave him the interview at the end of the game. How you going to give a player like that they ain't do nothing to interview at the end of the game? What the heck is going on with 2K, man? But uh, Mo Williams, we don't know what he did. You know, I think the power forward, the center grabbed the rebound. And they just held on to the ball in the backcourt made the biggest mistake of their life. But it's 32 to 43. Putting the moves on Rubio. Y'all see me doing what I need to do. And oh, my. Oh, oh my. Oh, God damn, shit. Um, my bad. I ain't mean to dunk on that man like that. 
it just had happened that way. <laughs> but check out Mo Williams trying to put on all these moves, trying to take all the goddamn points off the board, and he just f's up everything. So you know, I'm going through the nice alley with the Eric Gordon. What I will say about Mo Will, when he's in the game, Rubio kind of runs less of the point spot and it kind of throws the team chemistry off and I don't know if it's because Kevin Love is out of the game and they need scoring points and stuff like that but Mo Williams is just destroying their team right now so we have a 10 point lead you know we're chilling right now but Rubio is still on attack mode man he has eight and two now you guys understand like if Rubio would be like running the point most of the time he'll probably have 30 and 30 but you know, that's just how it go. But check out Rubio out on a fast break after I made the dumbest turnover in 2K history. I got hit with that 2K cheese. You know, that's how it go down. But check out this dude in the paint, man. I don't know what he thought he was doing right there. But the brow ain't going to let that go down. You feel me? So we're going to run a nice little couple screens real quick. Try to pick and roll with the homie, the brow. Try to get him a little alley-oop. And you know what time it is. Come on, man. My homie got a jetpack on. That's what we do. <laughs> but Rubio trying to get in the paint, man. And oh my. Did anybody see the alley? Like, is that even real? Is that is that real? Like, that's what happens when Rubio starts running the point. Bad things like that happen. But does anybody notice how Minnesota is actually catching up to us? Like, son. Like, they're really catching up to us. So, I start realizing, you know what? I got to take over the game. You know, so me and Rubio are going to play a little hot potato real quick as I get this nice little layup to get blocked. Yeah, man, um, their defense is crazy right now. Like, I'm getting hit with that 2K cheese. Key to picture. Yep, that's, that 2K cheese just happened right there. But check this out, y'all. Check out the foul. Really? Really? You just going, like, Ryan Anderson just going to foul him for no reason? Like, you right. But that's, that's how it go, guys. Third quarter cheese. 2K does what they do. You know, you can't really stop it. But Dan, Jang or Dang, however you say his name, he is the reason why they came back. I promise you he the reason. Like, that alley-oop started it off. Then every time he start running the point, they get the ball movement going. You know what? I'm, I'm ticked off right now because we're down too. So, you know, I try to turn up, take the game into my own hands. So, I pull up for a three. My God, knowing so. I don't care. I'm going to make it do what it do. So we do get the little one-point lead. You guys see right now, they're on the 14-5 run in the last seven and a half minutes. Like, you know it's real. So check out the ball movement again, man. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to stop it. I'm trying to guard all five positions. But the best thing that I can do is come down and try to shoot a three of my own. I'm going to try to answer it back right here. So I back up, put Rubio on a little bit of skates. Now, I won't say I put him on skates. I'm going to say I put him on a skateboard and let him roll off into the sunset. But you know how the game go. So it's 69 to 70. I just tried to cut for the alley-oop pass. Didn't work out too well. So I'm just going to back out, try to drive in. And oh my goodness. Yep, that just happened. I just get that ball some type of facial. He don't even know it. Um, and I didn't even give him an avocado mask. I'm going to just put it like that. Yeah, he got that facial. But uh, Rubio is still trying to do numbers. And yo, I just picked up my fifth foul. That play right there kind of pissed me off because now I have to play very conservative. I can't reach as much as I want. So I'm just going to go into clinic mode. Um, if anybody doesn't know what clinic mode is, basically it's what Floyd Mayweather did to Maidana like a few nights ago. Like anybody remember that? Yeah, I don't think anybody remembers that. But, you know, I, I, I do go into clinic mode from time to time. Now, as it goes for my post game, my post game is not even raised. It's just I know the perfect timing for my shots but Rubio did just drop past me right there I didn't uh get that dynamic goal from the coach I did actually stop him from actually driving to the rack for a while but as soon as he did get to the rack he, he was able to score with no problem but back to the clinic mode man me versus Rubio you know what I'm saying put him in the post give him a little shimmy give him a little turnaround bang yo I'm telling you I'm nice in the post like, I promise you, if I was able to get post moves off inside the park mode, yo, it'd be crazy. People would hate me. That's why I like running two-on-twos a lot because you're able to do all the moves that you're really used to. But did anybody see that crossover? I think he should have fell. 
Seriously, I think he should have got injured and made the series even more easier to win. But he did get me back with a nice little crossover as you hear the crowd. But, yo, the defense is real, yo. This is the first time down this stretch that my team ha has actually stepped up on defense. Like, you can see right here, it's crunch time, right? This is the funniest shit ever. It's crunch time, right? We almost got the steal, but it didn't work. Mo Williams kicks it out to Rubio. Rubio kicks it into Pekovic, and he gets the shot off. Now they're only down three, right? Now, it's not over. You know, I pass it off to Evans, call a nice little isolation for him, and he gives it to Davis. For whatever reason, I don't know. So Rubio comes down, kicks it out to Momo, and he hits a deep two. That happened. That just happened. Now I have to turn on my clutch button. Like, uh, you see that button right there? I, I wish I would have put a button on the screen, but yeah. I'm about to put on that clutch button. You know what I'm saying? About to make it do what it do. I see Mo Williams coming over to, you know what I'm saying, get the pass off. But yo, Gordon just saved our lives right there with that play. So I'm going to wait for him to come over, throw a bounce pass instead of an overhead pass. And Eric Gordon nails the three. Like, when it comes to clutch, I'm not usually, you know, trusting of my teammates, but I had to trust him there. But yo, Mo Williams, son. Like, really? Like, that's what we do. So, you know, a couple seconds left. I tried to get off. They ended up catching me. I'm going to go to the line. Of course, you know I'm going to put the nail in the coffin. Like, come on, really? Like, have anybody seen my hammer? Like, I got that, that OD plumber's hammer right now. Like, I'm about to put these nails all up in this coffin. Real rat. Matter of fact, you know what? I got that nail gun from The Wire that Chris and Snoop used to have. Like, son, I'm about to bury niggas all up in the terrace like nah nah I'm, I'm just playing but yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be an easy series man the way i see it without kevin love minnesota ain't got a chance because i can tell you right now if um ryan anderson steezma anthony davis anybody had to guard kevin love in the post or for, on the three-point line they wouldn't have had a chance but you know, it's the end of regulation. We do get the win. Yes, I'm playing on Hall of Fame, so I only won by four points. Just imagine if they would have had Kevin Love. It would have been OD. But uh, it is what it is, man. Let's skip to the end of the game so I can show you guys the Hall of Fame verification before we get into the press conference. Yep, times 2.0. Hall of Fame, baby. You guys go up 1-0 with the win tonight, getting things off on the right foot in this series. How do you capitalize on that moving forward to game two? I mean, did you not see Kevin Love get injured, though? We good, shorty. It's good to get a win in that first game. I know we definitely felt the pressure to get it done and not have to play from behind. When you start any series out with a win, it gives you that much extra confidence moving forward. I think we just need to do everything we can to carry that forward to game two. Year. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.